here we are going to understand why this is series motor is widely used in traction purpose. Now, what traction actually is? Traction means when we pull some load over surface or hoist something is called traction. Now, you have already seen around that elevators, locomotives, cranes, this generally hoist or pulls a high amount of load or a big load so for that purpose DC series motor is extensively used now the question is why DC series motor the simple answer you will find in your book is high starting torque now I will explain each thing one by one First, we need to understand what torque actually is. In linear system, what we call force. In rotational system, the same thing is called torque. That means to give a rotational energy or to rotate something, we need to provide a torque. Now, if you are pulling a locomotive train, then what we really need to do is to rotate its wheels to rotate the wheels you need to apply a high amount of torque for that you need to apply a motor which will be responsible for applying the torque we have understood the torque part now we will understand the high starting part when a body or an object is in rest condition and you want to provide it a motion then actually you have to apply a high amount of force it's like when you have not studied for two three days or more then you actually need to give a good revision of your subjects so that you can proceed to your further chapters this is just an example a real life example every students I think of experience but Actually, what in system or in real life uh, engineering occurs is whenever you need to move a body which may be of a huge amount of weight, you need to apply a good amount of torque. Then only you can aspire that the body will start to rotate. Now, who is responsible of this providing this high starting torque? This is the DC series motor. So, I have explained the common things that is written in your book. One is high starting torque, one, one is high starting and another is high starting and the torque. So, I think you have understood at this level what is the significance. Now, next part comes why. Why this series motor is capable of providing this kind of high amount of torque. Let us see. So, in torque equation we know torque is equal to phi into ia now ia is the armature current which is passing through the armature of the dc motor now in dc series motor the series coil is in series with the supply so the current passing through the series coil is the armature current so the flux producing the DC series motor is proportional to armature current. So in your torque equation, we can write torque is equal to IA into IA because we have replaced phi by IA as phi is proportional to armature current. So that we can write 
torque is equal to I A square. See, whenever you are seeing a square term, that means the value of the torque is increasing in a very high range whenever we are increasing a small amount of current actually small amount of current means suppose if you are increasing the value of the current from 2 to 4 ampere then the torque is actually increasing 4 to 16 that means 4 times that means you have increased the current to your two times and you are getting the equivalent torque into four times. Understood? A double increase in armature current is giving you the result of quadruple increase in your torque or four times increase of your torque. That's why the DC series motor gives you a high starting torque which is in any way is very essential for fraction purpose. So if I summarize the entire thing, what torque is actually is phi into IA. Now your phi or the flux is proportional to your armature current as the armature current is passing through the series square. So that we are getting the torque is equal to IA square that is the square term of your armature current that means if you increase your armature current the torque will be increased by its square number so you are getting a high torque or initially if you increase the current at starting then you can increase your torque to a desired level and when your motor is in operating condition or it is a rotating better to say it is rotating then you don't need that amount of high starting high torque because you have got already a momentum so at that part you can simply decrease your armature current and you can control your torque so i hope the thing is clear to you thank you